Now, as you can tell by the title, we ain't got a lot of time here, so let's get right into it. So first up, we have the Relevant One and Done SPF 40. This is a black woman owned brand. This is very moisturizing. Too heavy for me, I have oily skin. Even though it is winter, well, it's almost winter here and it's gonna get even colder, I still felt like this was very heavy for my skin. If you have dry skin, you might love that formula. It did take a lot to rub this in though because the formula is so thick and creamy. But like I say with mineral sunscreens, do it in thin layers until you have the adequate amount of protection, which is two milligrams of sunscreen per centimeter square of skin, which an estimate, you know, just an estimate, unless you go measure your face, is about two to three finger lengths of sunscreen or about a quarter to a half of a teaspoon. Because if you take a mineral sunscreen, especially one like this that is so thick and creamy and try to apply it in one big glop, you gonna be mad. After it settles, the cast is not as noticeable, but you gonna see a cast. For some people it might be a little bit more, but you gonna see a cast with this one. Have you tried this? Would you try it? Let me know in the comments. Next up, the Summer Fridays Shade Drops SPF 30 Mineral Milk Sunscreen. So this is a natural finish. It feels very lightweight on the skin. It does have a little bit of a tacky feeling that kind of felt a little like to the touch. Like if I were to touch my skin, it would feel like a little, you know, like a little tackiness to it. Uh, the cast on this one is almost unclockable. Like you'll see it, in, you know, in certain lighting and you know, the flash photography will get you every time. But this one, the cast isn't that bad. I know that was really quick, but there wasn't really much to say here, but would you try this? Have you tried this? Let me know in the comments. Next up, the Ilya C Beyond Triple Serum SPF. 40. This is a tinted mineral sunscreen. It's like an all-in-one. It's got some vitamin C, some niacinamides, that sort of thing. So if you're looking to kind of combine some steps, this might be up your alley. However, I ain't like the tint doing this. The tint had my skin looking grayish, looking non-radiant. Ilya Super Serum Skin Tint, however, is a much better looking product. However, for some people, they may consider that more of like a makeup product, but if you put on enough of it, it can count as your sunscreen, or you put your base sunscreen on, give it a couple minutes, and then put the Super Serum Skin Tint. It looks so much better on the skin. If you have a deeper skin tone like mine, Unless you plan on putting makeup on top of this, this this is going this going to cut down the radiance in your skin. It's just going to take it down a couple notches. And unless that's the look you're going for, then you know go in and let hair. But it has a natural finish. It does have iron oxides, which we have a whole video on how iron oxides help to protect the skin from visible light, which comes from the sun and from some of our devices, but most importantly from the sun and that can worsen pigmentation. So you get a little protection with the iron oxides. Would you try this? Have you tried this? Let me know in the comments. Now, some reminders about mineral sunscreen. First of all, the active ingredients that protect you from the sun in mineral sunscreen are white pigments. This is why a lot of them is an issue with the white cast, right? In order to not make that cast not as noticeable, there's a couple of things that they can do. They can micronize the zinc and or titanium dioxide particles, so they're smaller, not as detectable. They can also put other like emollient type products into a mineral sunscreen that can make it spread more, so it looks a little bit more elegant. However, that can make a product feel or look greasy for some people. And another way that they can make it less noticeable is by tinting it. Now, some of these brands, they ain't not so good with the tintin. The tintin kind of makes us look gray and ashy. Some are better than others. Now, should you put on a moisturizer before you put on your mineral sunscreen? Now that's gonna depend. Some of these are moisturizing enough that you can wear them on their own. And then if you put a moisturizer on first and then put it on, it might be a little too greasy for some people. So you know, use your own judgment. If it's colder out and you got drier skin, you know, use your judgment. I think one of the best things you can do if you're wearing a mineral sunscreen is to apply it in thin layers until you have the adequate amount. As for a lot of these mineral sunscreens, that silk is gonna be hard to blend out. In many cases, you can make some of these look better with a little bit of natural looking makeup. I have a video right here for you to check out for that. Now, personally, I use chemical sunscreens 99.9% .9 of the time. This series came about out of my boredom in 2020 and you guys seem to like it and I've got 
gotten requests. And there are people out there who, for whatever reason, maybe personal preference, maybe because they're allergic to chemical sunscreens, what have you, they prefer mineral sunscreens. And on darker skin tones, them things are a little tricky to work out. So there you go. Now moving along, the Dr. Jart Premium Beauty Balm SPF 40. So this is another one of those like all in one kind of products. It's got the iron oxides in it, which can help protect you from visible light. Um, however, the tint on this one, mm -mm. The, the, the tint is just a little too grayish and it, it just takes down the radiance of your skin. Now you could use some additional makeup to make it look a little bit better, but to me, there's so many other better mineral sunscreens, tinted mineral sunscreens out there that you don't need to do all of that. You know what I'm saying? So. Mm, would you try this? Have you tried it? Let me know in the comments. Next up, the Necessaire the Sunscreen SPF 30. Now this says it's for the face and the body. And you know, most mineral sunscreens, most sunscreens probably can be used on the face and the body, but when it come in a itty bitty bottle like this, this is 1.7 fluid ounces, 50 mLs. Um, you gonna use it up, and this is pretty on the on the on the pricey side. So this has a slight sheen to it. The cast on this is apparent when you first put it on. After you let it settle a little bit, it it calms down, but it's it's still noticeable. It's not the worst, but it's still like I see you. Would you try this? Have you tried this? Let me know in the comments. Next up, the Sun Bum Daily. Mineral Sunscreen Moisturizer SPF 30. This has a natural finish. It's lightly tinted, even though it doesn't say that it's lightly tinted, but it does have iron oxides in it. Now, this one has a slight cast to it. After a couple of minutes, it's not as apparent, but you can still kind of like, like, it's like, oh, I could, st could still kind of see it. But again, if you're somebody who doesn't mind putting like a face powder or a bronzer on top, this might be something that can be workable for you. Would you try this? Have you tried this? Let me know in the comments. Next up, the First Aid Beauty Mineral Sunscreen SPF 30. Now this took a little bit of elbow grease to rub in. I, I don't know if maybe the, the bottle needs to be shaken up a little bit more, but when I put it on, it was a little pasty, a little bit of the particles kind of like separated, and it just had to kind of like, you know, like get in there and, and, and rub it in. Now this says it's for sensitive skin. Now, sensitive skin can run the gamut of lots of things that can be considered sensitive skin. But if you're someone where your skin is sensitive to like excess manipulation, like just from like rubbing too much, this might, this might cause some triggering, you know what I mean? Cause you kind of got to rub it in a little bit more to get it to, to blend out. Or what you can do instead of doing all that on your face, you know, blend it out on your hand and then apply it to your face. That might be a better option. It has a natural finish. It feels light on the skin. Like I could touch my skin and don't have like that balmy kind of tacky type of feeling that I had with some of the other ones. Um, and the cast on this one is like, it's there. It's not the worst thing, but it's there. Would you try this? Have you tried this? Let me know in the comments. Next up, the Kinship Self Reflect Probiotic Moisturizing Sunscreen SPF 32. So this has a peachy tint to it. It doesn't say that it's a tinted sunscreen, but it does have a peachy tint to it. I looked at the ingredients. There's iron oxides in there. There is a sheen to the finish of this mineral sunscreen, and it definitely has a noticeable cast, like, like. <laughs> Have you tried this? Would you try this? Let me know in the comments. Next up, the Tula Mineral Magic Oil-Free Sunscreen SPF 30. Now, this has a slight yellow tint to it, and I'm trying to look on their website to see the ingredients, but it's hard, like the list is too long, so I'm gonna have to put, I'll put it on the screen to confirm whether or not this has iron oxides. It's lightweight, it has a natural matte finish, doesn't feel heavy or greasy. The cast on this is not really clockable. There, there is a slight cast, though, uh, but I think if you are comfortable with putting maybe a little face powder, some bronze, on it, it can make it look a little bit better.
better because it does take down a little bit of the skin's radiance so the skin doesn't look as, you know, it's not glowing as much. Would you try this? Have you tried this? Let me know in the comments. Next up, the Wander Beauty Pack Up and Glow Priming SPF 40. This has a natural matte finish. As the name denotes, this is probably something that's really great to put on before you put your makeup on because it does give the skin like a nice kind of look to it. However, it does have like these particles in it where it's trying to like give you a glow, but it's not really the right hint for deeper skin. So on some of us, it might look a little off. And if you're gonna wear this without putting makeup on over it, it might make your skin tone look a little off. Would you try this? Have you tried this? Let me know in the comments. Next up, the Florence by Mills Sunny Skies Facial Moisturizer SPF 30. This has a natural finish. The cast on this isn't the worst that I've tried like of all time and I've tried a lot of mineral sunscreens, but it's probably one of the worst ones from the ones I've tried in this video. You could put makeup on on, on it to, to, to make it look a little bit better, but even with that, I probably wouldn't choose this one out of, you know, at least out of the ones from this video. Have you tried this? Would you try it? Let me know in the comments. Next up, the Say Beauty Sun Visor Radiant Moisturizing Face Sunscreen SPF 35. Now this little itty bitty thing is the mini size. I elected to you know, buy the mini size because, you know, I'm just trying it out here for the video. It has a natural finish. It has a touch of radiance to it, but it's like barely showing up on my skin tone. So it depends on, you know, where, where you fall on the skin tone range, whether or not you'll see any kind of like radiance in here. Because for, for my skin, it made my skin tone look a little off in color and undertone. And that's just not the look that I'm trying to go for. Now you could put makeup on top of it and say is a brand that has some really nice makeup products as well, which I, I did a video on this on my Instagram. So, you know, check that out. But on its own, <laughs> would you try this? Have you tried this? Let me know in the comments. So this, this next sunscreen is the only sunscreen from in this video that I'm adding to my ongoing list of the best mineral sunscreens that I have tried on my darkest skin tone. And man, this thing is freaking amazing. So it's the Tower 28 Sunny Days BF30 Tinted Sunscreen. I've actually had this a ridiculously long time, but every time I would do a mineral sunscreen video, somehow I either misplaced it or forgot about it. So my bad on keeping this away from you so long. I also can't remember if I got this in PR or if I bought it, but for some people, this may be considered more on the makeup side, and I, I would feel you there. However, if you're going to put on enough of it, two milligrams per centimeter square of skin, two to three finger lengths, then it can count. However, if you're not, if you're just gonna put on just a little bit, you know, that, that's not gonna cut it, that's not enough sunscreen. So in that case, if you're someone that's just gonna use a little bit of a product like this, put your base sunscreen on, wait a few minutes, and then, you know, you can put this on as your makeup product. But man, when I tell you, this shade is called 63rd Street. I think that's what that says. I, I should have my glasses over here because they put the little itty bitty print. And let me tell you, after 40, the eyes just, like I could probably read something way over there, but when it's up here, it's a little, it's a little hard. The, the branch should make the print a little bit bigger for you know the geriatric audience. But this shade, looks perfect on my skin. It makes my skin look so good. For reference, I wear 6.5 N in the Dior Forever Foundation. I wear N110 in the Cover FX. I believe I'm 445 in Fenty. Um, however, this looks absolutely beautiful on my skin. It makes my skin look more even toned. It looks radiant. It's skin that looks like skin, even though it has really good coverage. And it has a natural finish. So it's not something that's too dewy or too matte. It's just right in the middle there. Would you try this? Have you tried this? Let me know in the comments. Now, if you've been wondering what are the best mineral sunscreens that I have tried so far on my deeper skin tone, you can check out 2021's best list in this next video. And there's a running tab on my blog, which I'll leave linked below, but I'll see you in this video.